afternoon everyone. Um, I'll do a little update on the Austin 7 build. Um, I'll start uh, shortening this pot shaft. I've already started it in fact so I thought I'd make a quick video um, about how I'm, I'm attacking it. Um, so. That's the original Austin 7 prop shaft there. That's another one I've got there. Um, I need to shorten it by 6 inches. So, what I did, this was uh, obviously on there, like that. Um, got an angle grinder, cut it around, slipped it off there. So, I'm left with this bit here. Um, I spun up my lathe. Just to square, just to square that off. Um, see that bit. That's a spline section, so that would go in there. Screw on there. Um, I then put this bit in my lathe and cut it off there. Um, put it in the lathe so I can cut it nice and square. So I've got a nice square edge on there. So because I've Put that in the lathe as well and squared it off. That should push into there quite nicely. That's like a it's kind of a sliding fit, so it's a nice tight fit. So it should come up relatively square. Um, once it's in place, I'll put a few tacks of weld, put it in my lathe, and then put the DTI gauge on it um, and to make sure it's all square. And that will hopefully hopefully do the job. It shouldn't be too out of balance. It's quite a short prop shaft, um, so uh, it's not that bad, was it? It's only, only 22 inches long. Um, so uh, that's basically how you shorten a prop shaft. It's quite a simple process. Um, if you're feeling brave enough, there are people out there who will take a prop shaft for you and do it all professionally and get it all just right but we're in lockdown at the moment so uh, kind of having to do it all yourself um, but uh, we'll give it a go a quick update on the car as you can see I've been quite busy with this now uh, started working on the frame so I've got a nice little steel tubular frames 22mm uh, diameter tubing tubing there, so that's, I think that's 2mm wall thickness, um, and the edge, so I've got, got some plywood sheets, I've got that plywood sheet there which is for the uh, sort of radiator cowling, nose cowling, and we've got the engine bulkhead sheet of plywood there, I've cut these grids on it, so both sides so I can work out the radius and get it matched on both sides. It's all out of aluminium in the ends, and, and the bulkhead will come down, come down through here, just behind the pedals here. So that should be quite nice. Um, that's just the uh, steering mounting there. And then again, I'll we'll sheet of plywood on the back here. Uh, that's, again, that will be made out of aluminium in the end. Um, Got a Robin Reliant fuel tank here. Just sort that out of the way. Um, so that's going to fit in something like that. It's just resting on the back axle at the moment. Um, so that's all quite nice. I'll uh, just put away. See, see what I've down here. So I've got this hoop made up here. Because the hoop is slightly wider than the uh, where the chassis comes to. The hoop comes down over the springs. So I'm putting another bar down here and then made up the section at the end of this chassis arm. See that? Something like that. You can see that. So 
same again on that side there. So this whole frame will be bolted to the chassis so it will all be removable. So I've got these bolts, these two bolts here which bolt on there and then this centre here comes down with mounting bracket there. Made a little outrigger off the chassis just there. You can see that. Again on the front, just two more bolts there, same again that side there. Um, yeah, so I've got some little, little brackets along here, so I can bolt the uh, front bulkhead to that. So just G clamped at the moment. And on the front, what have I done here? Okay, so we've got these. Bits come down to his cow horns. And what I've done with these front mounted brackets. So cut and weld them just here. Taking about an inch off them just to bring these in. So makes the front a little bit narrower. Same again on the other side there. See all that's looking quite nice down there. Again, the uh, SU card sticks up quite high, so again, I'm going to lower that down, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so this tube just put a flat plate, more than a flat plate, on the end of that. And then I'll have nuts and bolts going through there. That will mount in with the radiator mounting the nose cowling. Okay, um, put the top down down just below the uh, shock absorbers in there so I'll just kind of hide that a little bit. Yeah, let's uh, have a look. Stand back. So yeah, it's uh, starting to take shape and look quite nice. Um, obviously loads of work to do. And then I've got to learn how to sheet sheet the car or make the body work out of aluminium, uh, which is a whole nother on another learning curve. But I've got quite a nice curve to it, a shape down there. So it should be a, a flat sheet going all the way around the bottom here and then have to curve up over there. And then obviously a, a boat tail kind of a bear on the back there which is uh, quite a bit of work. And uh, obviously I haven't got room in my shed I might have to stick it out in the garden. neighbours might suddenly look out and see a car in my garden and wonder where the hell that came from because uh, my garden's quite small as well There's just enough room to stick a, stick a car in there no, no room to get it out and that's my door as well so uh, this car's not going to drive out of here so uh, it'll have to be unbolted Put back together again on the lawn. Um, but everything should come apart quite nicely. Um, the frame comes off, the steering box obviously comes off, the front and rear suspension comes off, and it should all be quite easy to manoeuvre. Oh, and the engines obviously as well. Um, yeah, so a little update for now, and uh, hopefully this prop shaft will go back together quite nicely and be true and won't have any vibrations to it. Um, okay, out for now.